Hey guys, Sam from Manfred's Makes. How are you all? Welcome back to all my returners and hi to any newbies. It's so great to have you here. Please do stick around a while. And if you like what you see, please give me a thummy. Okay, so this is going to be a really quick video because I was tagged by Julie at KS Mum Crochets to show me uh, or to show you my whip cart or where I craft. Now I do not have a whip cart or a crafting cart, but I thought I would give you some behind the scenes backstage access to what happens at Manfred's Makes. Now please disclaimer, no judgment. I live in a busy household that is not big enough for us all. There are six of us, two adults, four children, a dog and a cat. So things are messy, things aren't where they need to be, but you know what? Most crafters are not neat and tidy. Anyway, so as you can see, you walk into my dining room and this is where the magic happens, guys. I sit in front of my yarn wall, in front of my laptop with my web camera and my ring light, and I usually shut the curtains because I'm right by that window and have the overhead light on as well. So what you see normally in my videos is me sitting this way. That over there is Max's corner with his Xbox and his telly, excuse his mess. That shelf there has some of Liam's Harry Potter Lego on there. My yarn wall that you see in near enough every video. At the top, oh, the light is blocking it, excuse me. The Amazon box has diamond painting in it and the other box has some um, of my Manfred's Makes postcards and stickers in that I bought. And then there is my yarn wall and it does go all the way down to the floor with lots of bits and pieces. Now I sit at my dining room table. Of course, we normally sit here and eat our evening meals together. You can see that I've done some note writing when I was doing some filming and my obligatory cup of tea. I always have a pillow behind my back, guys, because my pillow, uh, my back is not that great. And this is what my mum got me when we were in the pandemic in lockdown. It says, hugs from home. We hugged this special pillow. We squeezed it really tight. We filled it with our wishes for you of hope and love and light. So when you need us close to you, just hold this pillow tight. You'll feel our love within it morning, noon and night, mum and dad. So that was a lovely gift to receive in the pandemic. And yes, that is Max's gaming chair. OK, so it's mainly yarn in the yarn wall. But on the bottom shelf, there is my ball winder and swift and my memento box. There is notebooks, address books, patterns, pens. There is more patterns, folders worth of patterns and more notebooks. And here was when I was doing the Christmas card exchange and pens. And all behind there are my Amigurumi books and pattern books. As you can see, sorry for my camera skills, I am on my phone. Now, this is a really messy corner. There is my mannequin. I originally called her Elsie, but Mike renamed her Wibbly Wobbly Wendy because she is super wibbly. She doesn't stand up straight. She is wearing my flamingo glasses and has my flamingo flapper on her shoulder, which I use in lives for when I get super chats. There are totes of yarn. There is normally another tote on here full of cotton, but that is over where I craft, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, so there are overflow totes of yarn here, which go all the way down to the shelf so all of those totes project bags or projects waiting to be done there's the flamingos i made a little while ago now all of these cardboard boxes have overflow craft supplies giveaway bits and pieces um extra hooks extra project bags envelopes those kind of things it's kind of my overflow but they are in boxes and bags and moving down, I have the giveaway that I currently have on in a bag, a spare ring light, a camera stand. This project bag here has empty project bags in it for when I need more. This is one of the crochet alongs that I am doing. This is Deirdre, my head mannequin for my um, hats and scarves. Underneath Deirdre is my scrap bin which is where we get the scraps that we need for tile of the week. 
Here are all the tiles that we have currently made so far. Here is some yarn that I haven't managed to put away yet because, you know, I haven't got around to it. Luck of the draw. And there are, tucked in there, two boxes filled with yarn that I, again, have not managed to put away. So that is my overflow, overspill, not quite organised, needs a good sort through corner. This is the window that is next to me when I record. Excuse the state of my garden. I haven't managed to get out there to tidy up yet. But that is the view from my window, which is super, super lovely. I actually love living where I do. And my garden. Oh, I've got my washing out. <laughs> so we have a little piece of garden there as well. Turning around, this is my telephone table. I've got my telephone, that is my Wi-Fi, that is my Alexa. Those are my candy shop fells, a random can of deodorant because, you know. Um, above it is the stitch mark holder that was gifted to me and I absolutely love. On the other side is the pin board that was given to me by another wonderful friend of mine. This used to be Liam's Corner, hence the Harry Potter Lego and the Harry Potter posters, but they are staying there and Max doesn't mind. And again, that is where Max sits. You can see he's had some snacks, not very many of his Hobie sweets left already. And then, like I said, this is where I fill my laptop, my cup of tea, my ring light. And you, oh, there's Rolo. Rolo, you're going to say hello. Say hello, people of YouTube. Rolo. Good boy, good boy. Here I have some whip bags and things that I'm working on and I haven't quite put away yet. Now on the back of the sofa, we normally have a pile of clean laundry for every member of the house. Mike has not put his away. I've put mine away. Kaylee's put her hers away. Max has put his away. But then Liam and Connor hasn't put his away yet. And because we are very limited for space, this is real life, guys. This is real backstage access to what I see and you don't. So there is always piles of laundry because, as you can imagine, I do three to four piles of laundry every day. OK, so there is the tote of cotton because I have been picking cottons for a current project. That cotton normally lives where those project bags are there but i'm still using it at the moment then i have some more whip bags with things that i've got going on at the moment and i sit in the corner of the sofa here this is where i do all my crafting or the majority of it so yes i'm surrounded by people's washing and that pile there rolo's going to demonstrate where i sit <laughs> That pile there is gifted blankets, blankets that I've made, other makes that I've made and got no home for. I've got my neck light, as you can see there. These craft drawers are the kids. They are full of paper and pens and paint and all sorts. And then there are some of my mailing envelopes. There's sellotape and things. Again, messy corner, but I have a messy house and a busy house, guys. So then here is where I keep to hand all the things I need fairly often. This doesn't count. This is um, going to be a birthday present for somebody. This is my wallet of labels of all the yarn I have used so far this year. So I keep that to hand. Then I have this case where I literally have an assortment of hooks, pens, hair clips for balls of yarn I need to rewind, um, all sorts of different hooks, all sorts of different notions and bits and pieces, stitch marker, there was stitch markers in there but they're currently in use, the tape measure that I use, hair bands for when I make loveys with lots of notes and multiples that I had to do on there. Underneath that case is my Amigurumi Made Easy Book, and I'm planning to do one from there soon. This is a notebook where I write out patterns that I'm following on a tutorial, my little notes on it. This one here was gifted to me in Happy Mail by a wonderful friend. It says, I never dreamed I'd grow up to become a sexy crocheting lady, but here I am killing it. And here inside this book, I am making a note of all the finished items I have done so far this year 
and the there are the pattern notes here of all the see there's the victor the flamingo i did two of them um all the projects that i am working on all the details what hook what yarn where i got the pattern etc etc so that i always keep there so i can keep a record of the makes that i have done this year and like i said my current whips and what i'm using at the end of the sofa so of an evening i am sat in that corner crocheting away mike is normally sat here crocheting away where rollo is now that's the coffee table that we have our teas and coffees on and as you can see it's not that glamorous we literally sit on the sofa to do our crafting i could have straightened the pillows but i thought why let's keep it real let's give you true backstage access to behind the scenes at Mountford's makes it ain't that glamorous guys it ain't that pretty so yes i basically work in a hot mess in total chaos but for the majority of my videos you see that which is a much nicer backdrop than what i have just shown you here is another window from this room the rest of my garden i really need to get out there and weed but crochet comes first so we have a little bit of garden there that's the back garden we do have another bit of garden at the front there you go nice little family photo years ago that was it's got to be a good four years ago so yes i basically just film in the corner of my front room so this way for videos this is what is behind the laptop messy chaotic real life <laughs> and just whip bags and stuff everywhere so there you have it guys that's my dirty little hot mess of a secret of where i craft so thank you very much to julie at ks mum crochets for tagging me um in showing us your craft car or where you craft i hope i have given you exactly what you need like I said, please, no judgment, guys. I am one woman. I work outside of the home. I have four children, two, do uh, two animals, and life is very, very hectic. So there we have it. I suppose I should tag a few more people. So who else do we want to see where they craft or their whip cart? Let's have a think. I am going to tag Abby at Blue Heart Crochet. I am going to tag... Amanda, Obsessive Crochet Lady. I am going to tag Rebecca, Suricata Crafts. I am going to tag... Who else? Christina, Bella Uncinetto. And let's think of one more. Who else do we want to see where they craft? Or their whip cart? Hmm. I am going to tag. Um, I know a lot of people have done yarn room tours recently. Um, I am going to tag. Come on, brain, think. Sorry, guys, this is taking forever. Rita, Lena's Designs, Rita. There we have it, guys. You have been tagged. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please tune in every day here at Mount Makes as there is a video every single day of the week. And tomorrow, you will get to see the next instalment of Tile of the Week Thursday. So please tune in tomorrow for that. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you for not being judgmental about the messy, messy house that I live in. <laughs> Um, but I know you guys are super kind and supportive and lovely and it's not going to bother you whatsoever. Um, I will see you tomorrow, but until then stay safe, be kind, look after one another, get some good quality time in with your loved ones and get some good quality crafting time in. I will see you in the next one or around the YouTube streets. Bye guys. Love you.